And tonight, the Catholic Diocese of San Diego is saying it will file for bankruptcy in the midst of hundreds of sex abuse claims. That filing is expected to happen next Monday. CBS 8's Shannon Handy shares what church leaders and an abuse survivor are saying tonight. The announcement was made today in a letter that the Bishop of San Diego, Cardinal McElroy, sent to church members and clergy. Now, he did say last year that the diocese would likely have to seek bankruptcy as it faces more than 450 claims of abuse. So this does not come as a surprise. In the letter, the Cardinal explained this move is necessary to ensure victims will receive just compensation. But some feel as though this might limit how much victims get. So I asked a diocese spokesperson about that today. Take a listen. The reason we file for bankruptcy is that it's an absolutely transparent process. So all the cards are on the table, all the financial information is on the table, and it's, it's a process where there are no secrets. There's no way people who have filed a claim are going to uh, not receive a settlement. Uh, we, just have to find, we just have to work with the court to determine what that is. In his letter, the Cardinal says that the diocese faces two compelling moral claims in approaching the settlement process, the need for just compensation for victims of sexual abuse and the need to continue the church's mission of education, pastoral service, and outreach to the poor and marginalized. Bankruptcy offers the best pathway to achieve both. Parishes, Catholic charities, as well as high schools will continue normal operations, though Cardinal McElroy explained in the letter that both parishes, which includes grammar schools and high schools, will Will have to contribute substantially to whatever the ultimate settlement is. In 2019, the state legislature lifted the statute of limitations for a three-year period, allowing for more abuse victims to file claims. Prior to that, the diocese settled lawsuits with 144 abuse survivors, but lifting that statute brought forth another 450 claims. I spoke with an abuse survivor today about the announcement. Here's what he had to say. The almighty dollar. It's about saving money. It's about uh, not making amends for what they've done in the past and are currently still doing because we victims don't come forward for years. No word yet on how long it will take to settle all of those claims. In the letter, Cardinal McElroy said the reason the diocese is facing bankruptcy is because of, quote, the moral failure of those who directly abuse children and teenagers and the equally great moral failure of those who reassign them or were not vigilant. Reporting from Claremont, I'm Shannon Handy for CBS 8.